Hello everyone, Luke Full Smith here. Just Saturday, so let's do a quickie reading. This one I thought I did this one, but it's not on the actual playlist. Um so I'm going to say that I haven't done this one. A login. So we've got to start off with two quotes. What Saddam did in the Gulf War was a small potato to so what Chris has done. Now it was an A log providing a helpful example of a login by com comparing Chris to a war criminal. He who fights with monsters should look into should 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 look to it that he himself does not become a monster. And when you gaze long into the abyss the abyss also gazes into you. That was that German name maybe I'm not sure Beyond Good and Evil so that was an actual movie or book quote there A Login a name named after noting Chris Clan critic Anthony A Log Legato is a term used to describe a, an act of overplaying or exaggerating the negative traits of someone loyalty to irrational levels this of often but not always includes expressing dis disproportion disproportionate levels of hatred for someone and or wishing physical harm on them, usually for perceived crimes that they are guilty of. A login also typically involves comparing oneself to someone noticeably lousy or dysfunctional and claim that they are not as incompetent as said lousy person. People who who are suspected of doing this are often re referred to as A-logs or A-loggers and are considered at the other end of the spectrum from white knights. White knights, what rare white knights try to defend Chris from trolls and help him improve his situation a logs hold the belief that that Chris is deserving of whatever scorn and harm he is subjected to and then some rare once fashionable expect especially when when Chris was a relatively new internet phenomenon a login has become associated with people trying to troll shield themselves like the original a log and therefore is looked down upon by Christorians. The shocking revelations that came to light during the incest saga has seen a login come back in, into vogue to some degree. Though actively wishing death or physical harm upon Chris is still considered by some to be crossing the line. I just realised I haven't done the, um, the actual... Um, Load out for November. So let me get that up and ready so it's ready to go. I'll do it afterwards. It it morpho morphology? I, I don't even know what it is. Um This article is about the term A login and not Anthony himself. Okay, fair enough. Anthony A log Legado is a YouTuber and voice actor who is known for making and what can currently be called commentaries on Chris. Commentary videos are of are meant to be are, are meant to re refute bad points and offer opinions on an opposing view. What A A log was was make videos was make videos where he re reacted to Chris, pointed out the obvious and went on tangents about Chris is an awful person and how he, A-Log, is better, who needs to have harm inflicted on, on himself. However, A-Log's menomia led, led trolls to wonder what he was trying to hide, leading to, the, to them doing a bit of research on him. The result is that A-Log became known as Chris Clan 2.0, because as it happened, he had many si faults similar to Chris himself, and it would easily be considered worse than Chris. Among other things, he is a furry porn connoisseur and made s terrible erotic fan fictions. Is doing a laughable college radio show from which he was almost fired after being caught watching porn in the studio and was sub 
a subject of a leaked video of him doing particularly bad at a stand-up routine and much much more. Ultimately, Alog became the subject of trolling himself and is the inspiration of this very term. At one point, Alog even received his own Ricky called Lee Lugged Fedia, which is relatively short lived and unpopular. He also spawned the phrase High Alog, used to mock Alogs through, through other internet tough guys. Features of A-logging. There are a few, few qualities which are common in A-logs. Many of them can be seen in the original A-logs commentaries. Justifications for trolling Chris. Some would argue that it's sinister and just plain wrong to mock a mentally de defiant person such as Chris. A-logs therefore try to justify trolling him as arguing that regardless of his autism and other undiagnosed problems he, he he has shown that he is a bad person who deserved to be trolled many alogs themselves are autistic and they can of and and they can often be heard making arguments along the lines of chris giving autistics bad names others will appear to to many nuances of bigotry most of them debatable as reasons to troll chris by establishing that Chris is a bad person. It seems to justify that Chris not only deserves the treatment he currently receives, but also deserves physical and or psychological harm inflicted on him. While Chris is by no means a good person and he has done horrible things, including cursing his ex-friend for trolling him, which of course he didn't, hitting a game store owner with his car and making an innocent game st game stock stop assistant manager. It, it is still somewhat ironic that that A Logs thinks the best re recourse is to wish him death and curse him back. Not to mention they tend to ignore many fa factors that led Chris to behave this way. Unsurprisingly unbridled male violence is never one of them as discussed in further detail below troll shielding oftentimes people who a log do it do so is to troll shield that is <clears throat> that that is to avoid becoming a subject of trolling themselves like an like a log himself they tend to have many traits in common with chris and generally have autism spectrum disorder still live with their parents well into adulthood which is somewhat justified due to how due to the instability of the housing market in the united states compared to when chris graduated that was like the early 2000s i believe he, he graduated are unemployed and or living off welfare are sexually tr frustrated virgins having trouble socializing and forming relationships and slash or fixed fixed on cartoons toys and other things that most people their age would have little interest in beyond their nostalgic value some perhaps have more faults than Chris, especially bizarre fetishes, as seen in the case of Alog himself. However, Alogs will argue at least they are not like Chris and are prevalent in their variatic contaminations of yeah con contaminations there we are, of Chris, so that people don't troll them instead. More often than not. In the case of the original A-Log, this backfires and they find themselves becoming a subject of trolling. Standing up for groups that Chris misrepresents. Other mag another misguided aspect of A-Logging is the idea that bashing Chris is, su is, is somehow to the benefit of marginalised groups that is, that is part of, most notably, autistic and transgender people. The argument behind this, in a logger's eyes, it um, is that that it needs to be pointed out that Chris does not provide an accurate representation of those kinds of people and their communities, and that and that as such needs to be 
obstructed. Of course, doing so is to little benefit of, of the groups that are actually being oppressed and instead comes across as a flimsy as a flimsy excuse on how how to aim low hanging fruit rather than to do something generally worthwhile to help in those kinds of communities. It could go without saying that making fun of or harassing some or harassing a mentally ill weirdo on the internet is not going to help anyone's case. Arguments against e-logging. While, while Chris is, to put it mildly, far from perfect, it is generally accepted that calling him to be harmed and abused like like a logs do merely legitimizes Chris's sense of victimization and the and and makes the a logs themselves look psychopathic and unbalanced. Chris is not Hitler. We we really sh shouldn't need to point out that Chris is guilty of of the actions. Of actions that could be considered foolish, immortal, or downright irreversible. Being compared to people like Saddam Hussein and Adolf Hitler is best hyperbolic, and at worst utterly insane. Hitler was responsible for the death of nearly 11 million civilians during World War Two. Hussein actively persecuted, yeah, persecuted and murdered almost. Twi 200,000 Kurds and Shiite oh, oh that's some Sh Shiite isn't it yeah god I haven't heard that word in ages um Muslims Chris's antics depraved as some may have been hardly compared to the atrocities committed by the two feared and rebel dictators much mo m much much for for much of his life, he was a just a gullible idiot, um, who was trying to spend trying to his time to spend his time trying to hit on women very badly, and make them his sweethearts, cross dressing and playing video. The relationships relating to the incest saga caused many a logs, both past and present, to to crow at to crow that they have been right about Chris all along. And that no one who had defended him or tried to aid Chris to any degree during the past decade and a half was guilty of a white knight in him and enabling his actions. While we don't argue that Chris's actions towards his um, aforementioned mother were t totally defensible, in, in defense, indefensive, it should be noted that Chris's prior criminal activities largely considered. <laughs> Oh, my thing's going off. Largely considered of things such as public disorder, traffic violations, trespassing, and petty assault. Arguably, the worst thing he has, he has previously done was hit and run on Michael Snyder. And even then, the court appeared to view Barb as the primarily guilty party in the whole affair, judging by her, judging by her getting the heavier sentence of the two. It. It's no exaggeration to say that there is a massive leap in severity between any of Chris's prior crimes and what he is currently accused of. While many, while, and while many historians may have been naive as to the point of his depravity, A-logs can ha hardly use actions no one could have reasonably foreseen as justification for, his beha for their behaviour. There is no there is no legal defence over attacking Chris for real. We really should not we really should not need need to tell any to tell you that inflicting or threatening f to inflict harm on Chris is nothing short of being illegal. Perhaps the best reason against a login is the legal liability, i.e., being charged and with and possibly convicted for stalking, terrorist threats, assault, or a myriad of other possible charges. Whatever feelings you have against Chris, there is no legal defence to take the law into your own hands, and and the chances you will end up with a life changing, changing friendly conviction. In addition to this part of the charm, 
or watching Chris in is in his in his eternal rage over non-consistent enemy committing actual violence would only legitimize Chris's victim complex and likewise could in such circumstance make you the villain so just observe from afar don't get involved with Chris in any way shape or form like an A-log you can make yourself a target if you try so hard Chris does share traits with a lot of people. Some of these traits are quite disturbing and embarrassing. It's a fair assumption that a lot of people who follow Chris's antics are unemployed losers on the internet. For example, a lot of people have seen Chris and uttered and, and uttered in their minds, finally there's someone more pathetic than I am. But But make no mistake, that is a very low bar to clear. If you extensively go into how much you hate Chris and try and insert your, yourself into his shenanigans, but uh, the same people that you are attempting to impress are likely considered, are li likely consider looking into your own shortcomings. As much as Chris is far from being likable, responding to his every move and unconventional hatred can make you come off as just being a target as much of a target if not more so than him saying that you're better than than Chris is not not at all impressive especially when you take into consideration on how much Chris fails at everything he does therefore you should you should not be using someone else's character flaws in order to justify your own this is especially true the, true if that same person has no bearing on your life as a whole and you are the only and you are only comparing yourself to a relatively well known old cow as you feel less shitty in comparison before you fall into the fallacy to believe in, in the um, <clears throat> that v velocity con condemning Chris will save you from this fate Remember that having embarrassing fates like Chris doesn't automatically make make you make you the target of of the sort of trolling Chris had. It it may it may make you the target of a ridicule, but that's more important. But what's more important is how you can how you respond to the ridicule. You you could be like Chris and get blangry at at every traitorous troll under Lucerys Lucerys I'm, I'm not sure and give the trolls power over you like Chris did or you can laugh at them at, or you can laugh with them at your own faults or just ignore them or just even ignore them and go your own business trolls aren't generally interested in people they can't coax a reaction out out of all in all, you don't want to end up like him. A login isn't the, the way to go. But but avoiding the Madrid of mistakes Chris and A logs made is. Chris has stopped worrying about the hate he gets. Chris is too busy in entertaining fantasies of godhood, and is a totally real and a totally real dimensional merge to pay attention to the tryhards that want to be remembered as the next Clyde Cash and really wanting to be remembered as someone who attempted to imitate someone with a mental illness is absolutely nothing to be proud of or worth aspiring to Chris will be too distracted by the latest drama or monetary issue in his life to even pay attention to people who who are obsessively angry with him and even and even assuming that you actually get attention there is little guarantee that you will be able to engage with him on a long term basis mainly because he has an attention span of a fucking ant it's uh, what's what's I, 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 ironic is that Chris has been so desensitized by his many enablers that that it's not not likely that he even cares about in any of the hate about the amount of hatred he receives 
by A logs on a daily basis. Therefore, A logs are often considered to be most lulzy worthy of the quartet, particularly in the particularly in in the regard of them obsessively vaguing at a practically non-existent enemy and only succeeding on making themselves look more of a, of a laughing stock. Much of the same as what happened in the classic era Chris against his own trolls. If whatever Chris does bothers you at least th then the least you can do is calm your ass down and try to avoid making yourself look a fool on the obsessive hatred. Otherwise, you could easily become Chris Clan 4.0 by yourself. Who, who was 3.0 then? I don't know. Probably like Dragon Lord in um, in Germany. I'm not sure. Being better than Chris is not and has never been an, an achievement. As mentioned earlier, the incest allegations and the accompanying embezzlement of approximately $750 from Barb are now considered by by many the point is where chris crossed the line from being a buffoonish sometimes morally questionable but mostly harmless individual <clears throat> and to someone tr truly detestable and in infeasible by by that same logic however trying to otherwise i think Somewhat oneself by a login is even more of a waste of time it it was previously to the point to where to the, to the point where it exactly where it will have the exact opposite effect trying to make yourself a lot better by comparing yourself to a fat anger prone man child with incontinence issues and elementary school level drawing skills well into ad adulthood is just the justificate a goose position that always rung hollow at best but saying you are better than a incestuous sex criminal with a nose diving grip on reality is close to and close to four decades or well, he is four decades now and he worth of unsavory information to his name is something so pathetic it can only only make anyone attempting it look look laughably insecure. The legal system will deal with Chris. Yes, we know that. Whatever happens, happens. For a long time, Chris evaded punishments that may have been de that that may have been dealt to some other individuals on the grounds of his autism. In other words, playing the autism card works. <laughs> apart from this. Some A-logs feel that Chris needs to suffer since, uh, since their ideal form of the elite justice system, example Gale time and one in a couple of days, was never delivered to Chris. However, in regards to Chris's August 2021 20, arrest, legal justice will be served. Virginia follows a free strike law, wherein someone who is convicted for a third violent friendly such as M Mackless of assault, and any sexual assault, including incest itself, is a five is a class five felony. It's punished with with mandatory time in prison. Chris has over seven misdemeanors on his record. He has already been arrested twice for assaulting store employees, and has confirmed. He engaged in incestuous sex activities with his mother and no remorse for doing so. At this point, the chance of Chris walking away with, with little to more with, with, with little more than a slap on the wrist is slim t to none as is. So believing he deserved more punishment than, than the due process of the American legal system will give him a sick is simply immature justice courtesy of those who are unfamiliar with the complex inner workings of law of rule of law will rarely be more than just a justice that then the justice brought about by a lynch mob in other words just 
let him be in jail. Like I said, the legal system will deal with it. Do not get involved. The Hall of a -Log in Shame. In this section, the Quickie has compiled several comments and plenty more to come from a -Logs on YouTube and elsewhere. So we've got loads of quotes here. Are we going to read? Obviously, you've never he heard of what he calls other people who are autistic. And... And that he calls people with Asperger's, Asperger's, such as myself, fakers. He doesn't deserve some, he deserves everything for giving us a bad name. The trolls are doing what what, what they do, do to him for a reason. It's not about the autism to them, but more of that he is a moron and who is evil, reincarnating and deserves to go back to hell. I don't even believe you know what what CWC has done to us on YouTube and that was gamer X Z zero and the YouTube comment on the original upload of an a -Log video 29 years today Satan was born and molded into a fucktardian penis I we know and despise today should I ever see him I'm going to destroy him worse and gack a new and new new gack I did than the new Gakko did in the mass transit. It's a bit fucking much to be fair. Now it was I Slave 29 another YouTube comment. Actually I think I prefer putting many bullets into this faggot's head instead. That yeah, these are fucking ridiculous. Hank on on the future message. These are his comments I think. Hooray he's dead now he'll be spending eternity in hell while I go and piss on his grave. <laughs> and that and that was from MXC82 again another YouTube comment on one of the A loggers older videos referring to Bob's death. Yeah that was a bit too fucking much that was. Bob was the actual one who had like brain cells in that family. Yeah, he's the only one that helped try to hold that family together. Mostly because I was hoping the video would would end with him be getting shot dead. By the Rockers real Police, you can imagine how disappointed I am to still feel, feel see him alive and kick him when the video is over. And that was K2O, CKO92, YouTube video reacting to the Lego High School videos. Yeah, they wouldn't shoot Chris because obviously he wasn't armed and he complied with, with the police. You fucking bony piece of shit, go kill yourself. If I was your mother, I would have had you abort aborted. Random letters on the Le Lego High School <laughs> video. <laughs> fucking hell. And these A loggers are nuts. Chris Can, you are simply the worst human being who have ever lived. If it wasn't for you, fellow autistics and Sonic OC creators like me would have been respected by the world. <clears throat> What you have done is unforgivable. Unforgi I hope Bob dies and spends the last few minutes of your life crying on how pathetic failure fuck you are. And that was official st steroid Hakey in a comment of YouTube of Chris's YouTube account. You can tell they're a Sonic fan, can't you? Jesus Christ. Like I, like I keep on saying, I keep away from the Sonic fandom for a reason. For a reason. It is the most fucking toxic fandom you could ever fucking see. I hope you are ashamed ashamed that a retard um, autistic person like yourself killed 20 innocent kids. All you autistic people should be wiped off the earth and aborted before birth since you are all evil and wish the worst fates and fates that heaven and hell can bring upon you and you have all the other autistic kids like you, Jesus Christ. The real reply girl forever in the comment of Chris's YouTube account Comparing Chris to a man who shot up an elementary school and advocated in serious genocide. <laughs> Fucking hell. Guess whose house burnt down today? Chris Clan, and that was a uh, bad web comics wiki gloating on their Facebook page about Chris's house burning down. And ha 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 ha, a response to bad web's comic. Sadly, yes, a, another response to bad web, web's comics um, thing. We got loads of these fuckers, ain't we? <clears throat> Words cannot adequately describe my utterly well incomposed hatred and disgust for the grotesque, grotesque entity that is Kristen Wrestling Chandler. 
You christen are a shameless, gruesome, inhumane monster. Everything you do and say will only add to your to your almost incompetent massive list of atrocities. Were I, I to load up sonicloo.com or some other Chris Clan related news source and saw that you finally died a death um, which properly corresponded to what you inflicted upon this world, it will be the happiest day of my life. And that was If You on I Love You Catherine. <coughs> Another one of the um, Chris's videos. Listen, you fat autistic piece of shit. I tolerated you so far because you're going to be my new neighbour. But this is. He was. Okay. I thought he only lived in them two places. But this is the last straw. You trapeze around your yard trying to blow up dolls and singing awkwardly. Not to mention, I can, I can con consistently hear you screaming at your, your mother. I'm seriously con considering finishing click cleaning this lot and selling the property to someone better equipped to handle someone like you. As well as within the city ordinance with this controlled bush burn. A brush burn. Also, if I see any of your videos of of me of of me on my lot portraying me as a negative light, I will take up to a liberal to to, to a liberal suit with you. Now it was Max Sims trying way too hard to pretend to be Chris's neighbour. Yeah, uh, Chris's neighbours do not have um, YouTube accounts. God, I fucking hate this piece of shit. I hope he dies. Now it was Gaz Hands on the GameStop assault video. Why the fuck is he still alive, God? I mean, this guy looks ridiculous. He is also racist and antisocial idiot that attacks people for no reason. Now he's a fucking burglar. What is next? Will he become the next Hitler? And that was Raphael on the GameStop assault video. Yes, people, this is this is a Christian. This is a person. This is a person Chris trolls who have been white knighting and pissing out on trolling because he has had enough done to him. Seriously give me a break. This guy is an arsehole and deserves everything that happens to him because of his own damn fault. Now it's the Mojo Corpse on the Game Stop Assault video. Shut up fat ass faggot and go jump off a cliff and die. That was from um, Boner Dix responding to a YouTube comment left by Chris. Why can't this fucking freak of nature just die already? There's a lot of fucking death threats in this in these, aren't they? Jolly old gin on the best of Chris Can Volume One. God, you got more. One of these days, someone is going to beat the shit out of Chris. I'm surprised people didn't, to be fair. And I will not have any ounce of pity for him. I'm actually surprised that the people of Rockersville has not gotten together <laughs> to run Chris and Bob out of town. I'm quite surprised because like, if he goes out to McDonald's and that and his like behaviour and his like really shitty attitude and his sexist and homophobic um, behaviour, I'm surprised he has not got the clapped out of him yet. Like, surprised people ain't punched the shit out of him. But, I don't know, they probably feel sorry for him because he's a bit of a tard. Uh, where was I? Uh, that was um, Red Roger in the National States Forum thread about Chris. Someone strangled this fucker to death, please. And that was Dark Side 780 on the CWC music video holding out for a hero. I saw a semi censored version of Who the Fuck make, Makes These Kinds of Vids. He's acting like a retard and at the same time running around naked. I wish this man was slow, painful again with the death threats. I don't care about the lulls he, he gives us. This man is disturbing, creepy, and should not be allowed to go into society. Now it was Inside Showman 212 on CWC Flying Elephants. Proof that proof perfect that all this should be dumped in the nearest alligator pit when their condition becomes apparent. And that was Gal Volbach on the Sign Destruction video. Whatever happened to the too predictably? Th this crazy man child doing weird shit each week. Now he's left the internet. Someone tell me, please. I'm reading this out like a fucking poem, by the way. That's the way it's put out. When he will die, so I can throw a party. Bob, as mean as I ever seen. And Bob still cuddling him. 
We manipulated him for so damn long. He's an autistic sim. Every time you look everywhere, he, th he there's a tard, there's a tard, a retard to bully. Every time you look everywhere, there's that face, a dead-eyed stare, to troll and to annoy. That was video games nostalgia ruining what could have been a clever pa parody with arguably unnecessary hostile hostility on Full House. I'd like to see someone argue that all human beings are worthy of life after watching Chris's videos. And that was uh, Jake the Snake 117 on on KCWC Top 10 Depiction Special, Dedication Special. Oh, I hope Chris dies a painful death. I mean, he makes the Japanese look like stereotypes. And that was Evil Vanini on the CWC soundboard on the Devian Art. Uh, where were, oh here we are. Chris put up a pay for Chris put up a pay for view where you can cut your own dick and balls off. People would definitely pay a hundred dollars to see that. And that was YouTuber Henry Panfall on I'm selling my fa father's stamp collection. Come down and buy some of it. Because the comments like this don't make you more aut autistic than Chris. This is so much more than he hilarious. The uh, this autistic pig got exactly what he deserved for thinking that he could ever fit in with normal humans. Autism is a disease that needs to be purged out of this world. What a vile piece of what 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 a disgusting piece of shit this week is. He has got exactly what he had coming. And that was Vanta on the documentary. I think that must have been like a newer one. He needs to be chemically gastrated and put into a forced labour camp. Sonic who make it for it. And that was Darkness Viking 1 on a fan video. Send me to too many games convention. See also weaning another type of fail trolling. A key aspect of a login. Michael Hayes something. Permanent a log and Isabella Loreglanke. A more recent example on how a login has Chris has backfired. All right, so that was all the stuff. On this one, um, don't be like them fucking comments. Don't fucking send death threats and threaten people with death just because they're autistic. No, not every autistic person is like Chris, but Chris just sets a very bad example of um, autistic persons. So, yeah, don't be like Chris and don't believe everything that Chris says. Just watch from a distance. Don't send him any death threats. Um, to be fair, he's in jail, so. Nothing can touch them at the minute. Anyway, I'm um, going to leave, leave this. My throat is about to die. Um, if you want to support me, you can use the support links above. And I will see you guys next time.